what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? This is going to be my last time talking about this YouTube ad crisis and how it affects this channel. I wasn't going to talk about it the first time, but my marketing director was like, hey, you need to tell people what's going on, and we need to start a Patreon page. I'm like, Patreon? What the hell is Patreon? And she explained to me that it's a platform that allows people to make a small monthly contribution to platforms that provide content that they find value in. And I'm like, well, hell, that's easy. I mean, between myself and the Ghetto Boys, I got millions of fans worldwide. And on my YouTube channel, I got tens of thousands of fans and supporters. So that shouldn't be a problem. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the YouTube ad crisis, let me give you a quick backstory on it. A few months ago, Brands like Coca-Cola, Amazon, and Microsoft recognized that their brands were being positioned next to extremist sites on YouTube. So they pulled their advertising. This hit YouTubers big. Most YouTubers lost 85 to 90% of their revenue. Now, think about what I'm saying. Imagine if you all of a sudden woke up and lost 85 to 90 percent of your income that's what happened to youtubers some people don't look at youtubers like youtubers are working they don't look at it like it's work they just look at youtube like oh it's just youtube it's free i just go on there it's free log on it's free and they think somehow these videos get magically made but these people who post heavy content on YouTube, they have staffs. They have people who do this for a living. They do editing, they do graphics, they're doing research, they're doing marketing. It's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see. So when they took that hit, it was big and many of the channels shut down. And like always, Guess what channels were the first to go? The black YouTube channels. Now, anytime I see content on YouTube, I see videos on YouTube talking about black issues, if you're talking about something along the lines of the black community advancing or responsibility in the black community, you get a fair share of self-hate, black self-hate, and trolls. So, for the first time since I've been doing these videos on YouTube, I shut off the comments because I don't want y'all negativity trying to influence people who may want to support the platform because I know how y'all rock. So, we going to nip all that in the bud. Got you, didn't I? Now, some people say, well, why do you need money? Again, nothing's free. People think, oh, it's free, it's free, it's free. Again, you know, you got people that have, uh, that do this for a living. I got a call from my assistant today, and she told me one of our editors had quit. That is what really prompted me to do this video today. I had been thinking about doing it for the last like several weeks and because I've been paying out of pocket to take care of my staff. And I'm like, well, you're waiting and being patient with everybody. Like, okay, they'll come around, they'll come around and just being real, real patient. And and people have been trickling in, you know, but it's nowhere near the kind of numbers that we need. Right now we have 107 page, 70 patrons. I asked for 1,000 uh, patrons initially. So we'll, we got a long way to go. People say, you know, 
Oh, they're begging, they're begging. Let me tell you something. People have no problem donating to Red Cross. They have no problem uh, donating to the American Cancer Society, a number of other organizations. They even put money in the little, the little uh, container that's sitting on the uh, countertop at department stores and grocery stores. They have no problem just pop, popping in like that. And, and what about the people who buy cable and uh, have the CNN and the Fox and all you getting CNN and getting Fox, even if you don't watch it, you're paying for it. So let's compare apples. What are they giving you? How, what, what kind of information are they giving, they giving and what kind of information am I giving? I think it's safe to say that you would trust what Willie D say over what CNN got to say or what Fox got to say. They got an agenda and their, their agenda is to spew propaganda. Make you think everything cool while people suffer in silence. They want people to suffer in silence. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to expose the, the crooked cops. I'm going to expose those that are crooked people in government. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to bring the stories that CNN don't want to cover. I'm going to bring the stories that Fox ain't going to talk about at all. And I'm going to expose them suckers over there. I'm going to bring the real. So, would you rather, uh, and, and you're spending, you know, forty, fifty, a hundred dollars with them, hundred and fifty dollars with them every single month, where all we're asking for is a minimum of a five dollar pledge. That's seventeen cents a day, y'all. Y'all saying that this information I'm giving y'all ain't worth seventeen cents a day? Come on, man. So. I look at it like it's, it's insulting to ride for people, to ride for somebody who won't ride for you. And here's the deal. Fair exchange ain't robbery. This, it ain't like we're asking for something and not giving something in return. Besides the videos that we do here on YouTube, that we bring you on YouTube, besides those videos, that are being brought to you on YouTube, you're getting rewards on Patreon. You're getting rewards like uh, virtual access to backstage uh, events. You know, you're getting access to polls uh, and other exclusive content and videos that I may not that I may not do on YouTube. So, and this is this is ain't ain't like this is something that breaks the bank, you know? And, and so, but people have a problem. Some people I, I do believe that have a problem with it because they just can't. I get that. People who can't, if you can't, I understand that. Everybody ain't able. But for those who are, I think that people really have to take a hard look and say, you know what? I'm going to ride for that. I'm going to ride for that. I'm going to ride for Will because Will ride for me. That's what I do. Now, what we decided to do is break the platform down. Take it down for a week. We're going to take it down for a week. And we're going to see how everything go. Uh, you know, if we can get at least 500 patrons out of that thousand that we're trying to get, if we can get at least 500 patrons, we'll probably put the platform up tomorrow. We'll go back live tomorrow or maybe a few more days. Who knows? But we'll keep it going. If y'all show that y'all really want me to keep doing these videos, I'll keep it going. But other than that, I'm going to shut it down. And the only people who won't be affected is those people who are already on Patreon and who joins Patreon and those people who 
uh, make a donation on PayPal. Other than that, I'm shutting it down. Uh, I can't do it no more. I can't do it by myself anymore. Um, I won't be posting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, none of that. Nobody wants to sponsor anybody who aids the black community. Nobody. They don't want to do that because they eat off of us. That's how they eat. That's how they come up. So Willie D is the last person you want to sponsor. He the last person you want to put some bread in the hands because you know what he going to do with it. <laughs> he going to use it for the greater good of the people. So we don't want to do that. So if I was out there cooning, buck dancing, if I was doing some buffoonery, uh, if I was promoting hood fight videos or disrespecting black women, man, they'd be lined up around the corner. Be lined up around the corner. Yeah, keep it going. Good job, good job, good job. And I'm getting a lot of people going, good job, good job. I'm getting that from people who say that they support the platform, that they love the platform and they supporting it. But they won't make a pledge. I mean, for no amount. They just won't do it. For whatever reason, they won't do it. Mainstream, I get that. I get that they won't do it. I know why they won't do it. But it's sad when the people that you ride for, the people that you look out for, won't ride for you, won't look out for you. It's sad when they do it. That's, that, that's the sad part right there. Because I could be doing anything. People don't know that I'm putting myself out there. I put myself out there. I put my reputation out there when I make these videos. I had a dude approach me one day in a restaurant and he said, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Willie D, uh, I'm the one who you told my kids were ugly. You told me my kids were ugly. <laughs> I said, yeah, I said it. And I was ready. I was ready for him. And the reason why I said it, because he came to my page talking real reckless. He came on my Facebook talking real reckless because I had made a, a comment. Well, I was saying something that uplifted our community. And so he tried to come in and infiltrate. So I called him on it. I called him out real heavy. And well, first he was being, he was being, the thing about, it, I, don't, I don't mind people disagreeing with me, but he was being disrespectful. So he came in with that disrespect. So I went in on, I checked out his page, did a little research on his kids and I bombed his ass and he called himself confronting me about it. And this is what I'm saying, y'all. This is what I'm up against. This is what other YouTubers are up against that bring content like I bring, you know, you know, we're, we're putting ourselves out there. So, you know, it'd be cool to, you know, to have, a, you know, to, to know that the work that you're putting in, the, the risk that you're taking, you know, ha does have some value. You know, it's cool to say, hey, man, do a good job, thumbs up. Hey, man, keep it going. You know, hey, man, you raised me, your music, da-da-da-da-da. But, uh, hey, man, you know. You know, it's an old saying, put your money where your mouth is. Ain't nothing better than that. And like I say, I understand when people can't do it. If you can't do it, you can't do it. I understand. But some people don't want to do it. Some people don't. I mean, like purposely, like, uh-uh, I ain't doing it. I'm just, I, I, I can do it, but I'm not going to do it. If you want to support the platform, the link is in the description below. For those of you who are already supporting the platform with a monthly pledge, salute. Appreciate you. Other than that, if we don't see a dramatic increase and our Patreon numbers over the next few days, we're going to shut down the YouTube channel completely and permanently. So hopefully it don't come to that, but you know how it go. Action speaks louder than words.
No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.